So this video here is about trigger versus cold. Alright guys, if you didn't see my previous videos, I'm just going to um, clean out some food for my fish. I've been out so they haven't ate. Fucking hell, so I've got hiccups as well. Had a couple of drinks. Right, there you go. Go on, trigger. Take it. Alright, <laughs> guys. If you go to your local aquatics, they're going to say to you the peculiar trigger eats corals. But, guys, I'm telling you, I've had this, this trigger, it was the size of a one pence coin. He eats. He's like a scavenger, look at him, he's just tearing up the food guys, but I'm telling you, 100% he does not eat corals. If you feed your fish well, he's not going to touch your corals, you know what I mean guys? I feed these fish four times a day, obviously what you just see me do, I wash out the frozen tablets because look at the colour of the water. You see it? You see all that crap? Obviously you put in your tank, that will create phosphates and nitrates. If you touch your water now, like that, I bet you 100% will have phosphates or nitrates, maybe ammonia. But when I tried it, it was, uh, I think it was phosphates and nitrates. But sometimes it does come up ammonia, and ammonia can kill your fish. Okay guys, if your aquatic guys tells you, because these are lovely fish, but they get big really quick. I'm, I'm thinking about uh, removing it from the tank. I'm not 100% sure because my tank's quite big, as you can see. But they do grow quite quick. Um, I had this trigger uh, six, about six months, maybe, something like that. And he has gr grown huge. Look at him, he's just taken all the food, guys. He's not even leaving the what clowns. I should have took off the pumps or the wear. Still have it clean the glass, guys. Look at that. All water changed, but the water is crystal blue. I'm telling you, if I pour this out, crystal blue, guys. Crystal. You know, there you go. I'm going to show the glass now. There you go. It's a month and a half cleaning, guys. But guys, don't let the aquatics put you off because, to me, I think they don't know what they're talking about. Because um, when I bought this um, trigger, I always want a trigger because I think they're amazing fish. They look, look, just look what he does, you know. He just, you know, he's not a bully. He just goes around eating his food. If I can zoom in, I don't want to zoom in, but if you see the colours on him and his eyeballs just move and stuff like that. If I took him out of the tank right now, guys, he will pretend he's dead. Trust me, he actually dies like, in, in a bucket and he won't move. Even if you pick him up, he won't move. He's an incredible fish to watch. But yeah, guys, I'm just letting you know. You know, he's don't touch none of my corals. I even put a camera on him at night just to make sure because obviously corals are expensive. But he does not touch a coral, guys. If you feed your fish well, I don't think you'll get a problem. Well, that's just a myth that, you know, triggers pep at polyps and stuff like that. Um, I did have polyps in, in this tank. Uh, no, sorry, not this tank. In my previous tank, but obviously I... You know, I custom made this tank myself, and um, I took the polyps out, I salt my life rock the polyps and that with it. Um, I'm going to put some polyps back in here. I know 100% he's not going to touch them, because he's been with polyps, and that's all I had in that top um, tank as well, it's just polyps. You know, I've got Xenia and all that kind of stuff in here now. Fluffy mushrooms and... My hammer that and he hasn't he, trust me guys he hasn't gone nowhere near him. and he's been in here for six about six months maybe longer than six months 
So guys, don't be afraid to buy a trigger. Obviously, I'm saying this trigger, I'm not saying any other trigger. There's so many triggers. Um, you could take your risk, but the peculiar trigger, 100% guaranteed is not going to touch your corals if you feed your fish well. Okay, guys, it's the biggest fish I've ever take. It's amazing, really, because you know, I had these little guys here. And these, these little guys here were babies. And, and you know, they've gone to breed in pairs now. I'm not really sure why they actually separate because when you do your research, they're like clowns, they're like really close together. But now, this one here, I will say this one, this one's the male, always hiding. Sometimes you don't see him for days, he's just under the rocks or wherever he is. This one you always see, the big one. Really cool fish to watch, I'm still doing a bit of research.